Good afternoon and welcome to our Facebook Live post from Biosphere 2. My name is John Adams and I'm Deputy Director here at this remarkable facility. And if you're joining us from other parts of the country or maybe other parts of the world, we've got a real treat for ourselves here in Southern Arizona today. We're getting rain. Um, and so rain outside, although um, our weather folks do a great job at predicting how much rain we're going to get, when it's going to start and stop, it's still not an exact science. We don't know precisely when that rain is going to start, precisely when it's going to stop. Well, that's not the case inside Viester too. What is remarkable about this facility and one of the features that truly makes it a research asset is the fact that we can control and manipulate the weather conditions inside Biosphere 2. So for example, here in our rainforest, we can actually create the rain, we can start it exactly when we want to, and we can end it exactly when we want to. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate that for you here in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is we have an operations center. Bias for two operations, do you copy? Go ahead, this is Steve. Would you please start a rain in the northeast quadrant of the rainforest? So one of the really true advantages is there are a lot of questions scientifically. It's what's going to happen as we see different types of weather or climate conditions fall over regions. For example, what happens if the rainforests get more rain? Or as many of the climate models predicting, it's going to get warmer and drier. Well, how do you do that? Well, here in Biosphere 2, we can do those exact conditions. And just so I don't get too wet inside here, um, I brought an umbrella, but you can probably hear that rain starting. And that's, again, one of the really unique attributes of this facility is, as a researcher, you can control and dictate the exact conditions inside of this facility. Uh, once it gets a little bit harder, we'll, we'll do that. So in our rainforest, for example, we have four quadrants that we've divided it into. The rain is not provided by clouds, but it's rather provided by an overhead sprinkler system. And although we can't do too much with intensity, we can change the duration to change how much water each area or system is delivered. And we could, in theory, actually change the amount of water that the northeast quadrant gets versus the southeast quadrant, for example. One of the other really unique things is we can label our rain. And what I mean by labeling is we can change the signature or spike the signature of the water isotopically. And what that allows our research team to do is very precisely track where each molecule of water is going who is picking up that water molecule and when is it coming out. So for example, we can detect that water molecule in a root. It's going to be slightly different than that water molecule because of the isotopic signature inside the stem or even different than that inside the leaf. And so we can look at the adaptive strategies that many of these plants have when we create different types of conditions inside the system. And so today from Biosphere 2, we're making it rain inside. My name is John Adams. And again, this is a real treat. We thought since it was raining here in Southern Arizona, um, and we don't have much control over that, we thought we would show you how we can control uh, one of the conditions inside Biosphere 2. Now, if you'd like to learn more about what is happening here at Biosphere 2, we've got a great online course. It's a massive open online course. Uh, there is a link directly on our website that you can get online, and there are a whole suite of courses. And you can pick and choose or choose to do all of them if you'd like. Uh, we'd love to see you out here and visit us here at Biosphere 2. We've got a new ocean and beach tour, which gets you up close uh, to our ocean system. And you hear from the folks firsthand how we're going to be using this system to better understand the fate of reefs around the world and how we might be able to help them survive well into the future. So again, my name is John Adams. Welcome to Biosphere 2 Live, and thank you for joining us here on this rainy afternoon, not only in southern Arizona, but inside Biosphere 2.